Well, hello everybody, it's been a while, and um, I'm pleased to say that today I am with the newest member of our retreat facilitation team, and um, I'm joined by Mr. Matt Gunn, who is a psychotherapist, a breathwork facilitator, and recently been working exclusively with men, and he lives in a house on a road called Men Love Gardens. Matt, it's such a pleasure to learn about you and to get to know you, and I can't wait to welcome you on the retreat team in June. We are really, really privileged to have someone with your credentials, and we feel, we feel that now we have the perfect retreat facilitation team and a beautiful, safe space for men to continue to evolve and grow like never before. Matt, welcome to the team. Thank you so much. Really excited to uh, to be on the team. Great. And Matt, the first question I've got for you is, um, you know, we haven't got all day, but like, what drove you to want to become a psychotherapist? What drove you to want to really help men? Because I know that you have a real passion in this area. I do, yeah. Um, my own relationship to grief was what led me um, to become a psychotherapist. So probably um, 10 years of, of doing my own work, 10 years of trying different modalities, different, uh, different methods from CBT to traditional talk therapy and more likely to breath work and embodiment. Um, yeah, just kind of getting lost, getting stuck, muddling my own way uh, through dilemmas in relationship, dilemmas as a parent. Um, it's all kind of like led me to want to really dive into my own process. And in doing that, I've kind of fallen in love with that process and feel so blessed that I get to sort of share it with, mm. with other men on a daily basis now. Great. Um, yeah, it was, it, my, my own journey started probably when I was 12 when I lost my mum. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just uh, through not understanding grief, through not experiencing it or even knowing how to be with it, uh, I got really lost. I got really lost on, on, my, on my own journey. And it probably wasn't until I was in my early 30s that I started to experience healing and reconnection with myself as a man mm -hmm. and so i'm just so excited to get to share what i learned and how i've managed to to heal and integrate my own experience right. yeah, a wonderful uh, story matt and one that we may delve deeper into at some uh, future stage and so matt it sounds like um you know you've been through an incredible journey of initial struggle and then kind of really stepping into your potential as a man and a psychotherapist in order to learn from your story in order to help others. Do you tend to attract um, people that have kind of experienced a similar um, Do you know, I, I, I say that I attract a really wide range of men. Yeah. I work a lot in the field of addiction. Um, I work with a varying, yeah, I wouldn't say I've got a specific demographic at the moment. It's just really, really varied. Um, I think, think one thing that, that I've noticed is whenever we're kind of called to do our work, that actually we're, we're so much more connected than we, than we think we are. That kind of like once we, once we step into our, our vulnerability and into our, our authenticity, that we're also alike. So that whilst, yeah, you know, like whilst I predominantly work with men and, and at the moment, it's, it seems a lot around addiction, a lot around um, men who are kind of consciously or unconsciously checking out. Mm. Um, mm. Withdrawal. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's not to say that that's, that's all that I do, but I'm just noticing, yeah, that there's, there's so much of that at the moment. Mm. Um, yeah. And Matt, um, you know, I'm sure there's some viewers who also may have experienced loss mm -hmm. um, at a younger age. And whilst it was obviously incredibly difficult at the time, mm -hmm. how do you look at that event now when you look back from the place that you're currently at and the work you're doing as a psychotherapist? How do you, what, what's your perception when you look back on the, the event? 
So for me, there's there's a, a couple of different things really. There's the the trauma of the loss and how I've embodied that and how people embody trauma and how that shows up and how it shows up in simple terms as unprocessed or unresolved grief. So like how I might act out on it, how I might withdraw, uh, who I might be attracted to in an intimate relationship, how I might parent my own children. So I I, I consider that, I consider the residual trauma that lives within me and, and how I show up as a result of that. I also consider the gift, the gift that I have been given to turn my own pain into purpose. Wow. You know, like that's, that, that absolutely drives me to do what I do, to be able to share some of the experiences, some of my own journey with other men to say, to, to just reassure them that healing is possible, that integration can exist and that we do not need to be defined by our past. You know, whilst we can hold it compassionately, it, it needn't kind of push us around. Great. So Matt, um, we've got a retreat in June. Mm-hmm. And um, when we first met, you know, you mentioned that um, you, you were aware of, of men without masks. Yeah. Um, about a year ago, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so how do you feel kind of joining the team and what you're excited about? Oh, I feel like seriously excited about being on the team. I, my, my good friend Martin is a big part in Men Without Masks and the moment that he described it to me, the moment he, he told me about the process and, and how it kind of unravels, I was just, I was in, like I knew that at some point I wanted a part of it. And I, I love the, um, the mixture of embodiment, of, of um, awareness, just everything that kind of goes into the retreat itself. And so, yeah, I'm just hugely excited about that because I think on my own journey, I learned that for me anyway, talk therapy alone isn't enough. Yeah. That I really need to get into the body. Yeah. And the, that blend that Men Without Masks offers is just so exciting. It's kind of like, it's everything for me. Wow. And to be able to just switch off from the outside world to, to really have five days to be in your body and to sort of reconnect with yourself, I just think it's incredible. So yeah, I'm hugely excited about it. And Matt, I'm so I'm also really excited to have you as our team. Um, it feels like you have a missing link. You know, I've got myself in the facilitation team and my kind of whole kind of coaching journey and, and how that's also shifted from very kind of linear thinking, process driven techniques and systems to more embodiment and getting in the body and, and learning it about the body and the relationship between the body and the mind and the spirit. We've got Martin, you know, Martin is a people's person. He brings people together. He's a meditation teacher. He's a life coach. He's, he's a mentor. And we've got Dave. You know, Dave's got his extreme connection to nature and, and the wildness and the softness of the lover. And, you know, Dave's capacity to really take people and take men into nature and reconnect with nature. And now we've got you, you know, with a psychotherapy background who brings a little bit more safety to the group around um, you know holding space and also um, referrals from men post retreat and where they can go so uh, we're really excited by that Matt and um, yeah I'm, I'm just really looking forward to the June retreat. Me too, thank you. So um, if you're a man that um, is interested in our work check us out uh, on memberthatmasks.com we offer retreats um, we're also soon going to be offering a one-day online immersion, which is a taster for any men that are interested in our retreats but haven't stepped up yet. And, um, and we'll also, post-lockdown, be offering mentoring services as well, where I'll be offering mentorship to men, Matt will be offering mentorship to men, Martin and Dave, all on very different levels. Um, and also check us out uh, on uh, Instagram, check us out on Facebook, and check us out on LinkedIn, Men Without Masks. Um, hope you all have a great day, and um, we'll check in again soon. Cheers, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I mean-